So last night, the Steelers beat the Browns 26-22, to and uh, I made a short directly after the game, kind of giving my quick uh, first take, you know, my, my reaction to the game. Um, and now I've had a lot more time to think about the game, and this is going to be more of a rant type of video. I'm going to try to make this quick, but I have a lot to say about this game. I think this game is, it says a lot about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, number one. Matt Canada should be fired today. Uh, the fact that us as Steelers fans, the fact that, you know, the, the ownership group of this proud organization, the fact that this is what year three of this guy, Matt Canada is a joke. I mean, this guy, I, I genuinely, when I say this, I'm not joking at all. I genuinely believe that there are like professional Madden players out there that could be better play callers than Matt Canada. I mean, running the ball, whenever we have had no momentum whatsoever. And especially, like, I remember specifically on, like, a third and 16, we're running the ball or we're drawing up runs for Kenny. Like, it's it's idiotic. And it's a shame on not only Canada, not only the ownership, but on Tomlin for doubling down and protecting this guy. We all know he should have been fired at the end of last year. So, Matt Canada and this offense look absolutely putrid. Uh, the defense has as many touchdowns as the offense this year. It's two to two, and you take out that one 71-yard lucky play we got from Pickens, uh, there'd be nothing really to speak of for this offense because that was kind of like the one exciting thing that happened. The rest, it was really, really difficult to watch. Um, in terms of the defenses, though, the defense was the standout of this game, and I think the defense played so good that <clears throat> it's really hard for me to gauge, was the defense just really good or is Deshaun Watson really that bad? Because there's no excuses for Deshaun Watson. The amount of money that he makes, the amount of assets that the Cleveland Browns gave up to Deshaun Watson to get him, for him to play that bad, specifically in the fourth quarter, is pathetic. Deshaun Watson, as of right now, I'm going to say he's washed up because he looked terrible. And I know Nick Chubb went out, but again, Look at how much you're making. You have, you still have an incredible offensive line, and I'm not saying the Cleveland Browns they're they're uh, receiving weapons. I'm not saying it's top of the league, but it's respectable. You got guys that catch a ball, specifically Amari Cooper, who had a really good game. Um, seemed like Patrick Peterson couldn't do anything right. It seemed like Amari Cooper were uh, Amari Cooper was open on every single play. Uh, so again, it's hard for me because I want to give the Steelers credit. Um, the Steelers' defense, a lot of credit. They deserve it. You know, they played their asses off, especially TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith. Those were the two standouts. And Larry Ogunjobi. Those three were incredible in this game, just getting pressure on Deshaun, especially against that, that really good offensive line that they have. Um, so, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about Deshaun. And then, real quick, just the injuries. I mean, I titled that, that short I made last night The Game from Hell. And that's because this was the game from hell. Um, stylistically, it was hell to watch because the offenses were both putrid. Um, and then, of course, all the injuries. Uh, more specifically for the Browns, now the Steelers. We did have one kind of big injury to make a Fitzpatrick who kind of had like a chest thing. It looked like he was throwing up on the sidelines. I don't know exactly what happened. Um, reports say it's not a serious injury, so that's good. But for the game, he was out. Um, the big one, of course, is Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is done for the season. This, this continues the trend of superstars getting injured and gruesome injuries on Monday Night Football. <clears throat> Aaron Rodgers, week one, had a season-ending injury. Week two, Nick Chubb has a season-ending injury. So I really hope that that trend does not continue. Um, this raises a lot of question for the Browns uh, going forward because Nick Chubb is literally the lifeblood of the Cleveland Browns. So, and especially with how awful Deshaun played, I think he had like 55 uh, completion percentage. And uh, yeah, his yardage looks good, 245 yards, but a lot of that was on like third and 20, and he was throwing like 10 yards. They were get playing prevent defense. So there's a lot of question marks for the Browns. They look like they're a mess right now because any – competent team would have beat the Steelers last night. The Steelers did not deserve to win that game. Our offense was that bad. It was terrible. This offensive line is, I don't want to use profane language, but it was very bad. 
Um, Matt Cannon needs to go, and I'm cu- I'm curious what they're going to do against the Raiders. Um, so you let me know all your thoughts about all that. I just had to get some of that off my chest. Appreciate you for listening. <laughs>